hello my dear students very good morning i hope uh, you are enjoying your studies uh, we have just finished the two revision tests for the previous chapter that belong to the surface chemistry now we want to start a new chapter this new chapter is chapter number 6 from your textbook the name of the chapter is general principles and processes of isolation of elements a quote is written as let us try to understand the quote some of the other way thermodynamics illustrates why only a certain reducing elements and a minimum specific temperature are suitable for reduction of a metal oxide to the metal in an extraction uh, see when uh, we want to get some metal in its pure form this metal may be available into its oxide form in the earth's crust so when we heat this oxide it is possible that we get the pure metal that is what we have studied in case of the mercury into the 10th standard but then why a particular temperature is needed so that the metal oxide can easily decompose to give us the pure metal that idea is explained by the help of the thermodynamics so here it is an effort or an urge to make you aware that during the process of isolation of an element it is necessary that we should understand the thermodynamic concepts for the extraction of metals and that is what uh, it is tried to explain you that when when we study the various aspects it is very important to study the thermodynamic aspects for the various chemical processes that are used for the isolation of the elements we are well aware my dear students that few elements occur in free state which are these elements you know carbon is available in the free state then we have sulfur beds or sulfur is available we have gold that ha- that takes place into the free state we have various noble gases such as helium neon argon krypton xenon and radon all these elements they simply occur in the nature in their free states all the other elements occur in combined state either in the earth's crust or in a sea water or in the air so the other elements whatever we study or whatever we have already known about them into the periodic table they one or the other way are found into the combined state into the universe all the other elements occur in combined state either in the earth's crust or in the sea water or in the air the extraction and isolation of an element from its combined form involves various principles of chemistry so this combined form which are available at various places like earth's crust or in the in the sea water or in the air we can get the pure element but we need to apply some principles of chemistry to obtain them in the pure form now we shall know about some of the terms that are related to the Uh, extraction of metal the first term is known as the minerals so minerals are those chemical substances that occurs in nature in which element exist so various elements exist as their compound into the earth's crust these all ele- uh, these all compounds of a particular element is known are known as the minerals of that particular compound ore ore is a mineral from which an element can be extracted easily and economically easily means here with a very very simple process and economically it means here 
that with low low costing that means the in the cheaper manner so you know there are many minerals but all the minerals which are available they cannot be utilized to extract the element so from those compounds from which um, an element can be extracted can be obtained in the pure form easily and economically such mineral is known as ore gang so what is gang let us try to understand unwanted earthly impurities present in the ore are called gang if an ore is mined from the earth's crust my dear children then they have some impurities like you know sand they have sand particles they have silica they have clay sometimes they have many other impurities so these impurities which are unwanted and they are found in the earth they are known as the gang i want to share one more uh, statement with you remember my dear students that all ores are minerals but all minerals are not ores it it simply means that you know all minerals cannot be ores because mineral from which an element can be extracted easily and economically is ore but all ores they are minerals because they are the compound of that particular element available into the earth or into the sea water or in the air and in which the element exist so this is what we understand we shall understand few other terms into the next video i hope my dear students you are enjoying happy learning